first things first, I always pull Google up just because I might need to search some images or for anything for that matter. And this is the chip bag template, which is already put together. Um, I just have to edit it. If you need this template, I do have it for sale for $2. So just let me know. Let's see. I'm just going to change the colors on the background. The texture on the background is bad as it is. So I'm going to change that to white. Like a solid white. And my computer started to act slow. So I'm going to fast forward through all that. So I just like to go to Google and search whatever theme I'm doing to get some images to pop up. Like I might put LOL surprise background or LOL surprise images. When I'm designing chip bags, I never know how it's going to look. I'm just pretty much going as I go. Okay, so now I'm back on my chip bag template and I'm going to change the color of this and I'm just going to hit the shape field after I double click it. And you just play around with it to choose what color you want to do because I'm going to keep changing it for now till I find something that goes best okay back to Google looking for an image I pulled up my snipping tool so I can just drag this to the chip bag for my background image on the bag it's gonna right click and then hit copy take it into my chip bag right click and paste or just hit control V and it'll drop right in I'm changing the color on these I'm gonna just do the mint blue or light blue color for the outline. Gonna space that out. I deleted that cause I just wasn't feeling it. I'ma just look for something else. And this one will be it. Snip it to a new drag over the portion that I want to take to the chip bag right click copy back to my chip bag right click and paste or control V and drop it right in position sorry y'all position that how I want it to be that down a little oh, guess I went back up okay I'm gonna fast forward with this cuz I was just playing with a little things and I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it okay and I went to insert insert online pictures and I'm just gonna search LOL surprise. And I'm gonna check 
take that check off creative commons only not sure what that is but it makes more images pop up when you do that Then I insert the image that I selected into on my chip bag, and then I'm gonna click Remove Background, Mark Areas to Keep, or Mark Areas to Remove. You could do either one you choose. Just push Mark Areas to Remove. That's already selected. So I think I should do Mark Areas to keep yeah I don't know why I kept doing that because it's already removed come on Lauren mark areas to keep because that purple part is was removed so I need them to bring that back bring that back you just drawing on what you want them to keep And then just this little dot. Yes, there we go. Like a little line right here. And that's gonna be it. Boom. Oh. One more. Just the check in, and I'm gonna click keep changes and now you don't have a background on it so I'm gonna minimize that down figure out where I'm gonna put that And then pretty much from here on out, you're just going to see me in certain images from the online pictures. Um, if it has a background, again, I'll do what I just did and remove the background. Um, I can insert some shapes right here if need be. looking for a shape to put the picture in for the child chip bag I guess I'm just gonna end up doing an oval I'm just gonna click that drag it and shape it out how I want it I'm gonna go to the internet browser and go to my email account and pull up the image that I have of the person who will be on the chip bag. Uh, it looks like my camera cut off when I was doing an image. But I added another oval just to fill it with the blue color that's on the edges behind my image. I'm just showing you how I imported the picture because my video cut off when I was doing it. So you're going to go to insert, well, fill, insert, picture from files. Go down to whatever you may have saved the picture you want to use it as. Click it and it's gonna fall right into the shape. 
I just deleted that because I already have it. I just wanted to make sure you all know. And then how I got that blue behind it was I inserted another oval. And then I just put it behind it and put my picture over. I hope that makes sense. I don't know why it stopped recording. And I'm going to insert some word art. I was going to type out the happy birthday. Sorry, I'm not really used to recording while using the computer. I'm going to find a better way to do it, though. I could have used my stand, but I was in the bed while I was doing this. So, sorry, guys. And certain happy seventh birthday. Make that a little smaller so it fits over. I want it to be a little bigger than that though. Just want to make sure it fits right there. Same thing now, I'm gonna do some more clip art and insert her name at the bottom here. You can adjust it to any font or size you wanna use. And then from here, you'll likely see me insert online pictures like I told you all. Just going to search LOL Surprise or LOL Surprise Dials and want to uncheck that box once it pops up after you search the Creative Comments only. Uncheck that.
basically this is the basic part you're just gonna click over the words that's there and replace them with whatever you want them to say for this percent part I always put the person's age it was for like a birthday or anniversary and then you just edit these to say whatever you want like on the back of a regular chip bag how they have the nutrition facts Now I'm just going to insert some shapes just to fix it up a bit. You could pretty much do it however you want though. Drag that in. I really just want some dots. It's probably an easier way to do this, but I'm literally about to insert all the dots that I want. So I'm going to fast forward. for watching guys check out my next video for tips on printing and how to assemble the chip bags uh, after you print them out thanks again subscribe